Hello everyone, it's Maria with Angelfish Design, and today I have a special project share for you. This was my design team project for Dear Julie Julie here on YouTube, and um, her Etsy shop information will be listed down below. This is a cute little ephemera folio that I made using two of her digitals, the Spring Days uh, digital kit and the Yaya's Spring Days digital kit, and they coordinate beautifully together as you'll see as we go through it. So let's take a look. So on the cover we have this beautiful image of this vintage lady with the pretty flowers there. And I've highlighted a bit of extra pink here and there. And there is lots of layers. There's some beautiful coffee dyed um, cheesecloth back here and some laces and some sheer fabrics on the spine. And the back has another pocket there which we'll go over later but that sheer fabric goes around the edge. And the beautiful silk tie is captured underneath the picture there so that will stay in place and as we go inside all right there's all kinds of goodies inside the first pocket here has a really large journaling tag super fun and the images just like i said bright and beautiful from the kits and some extra little embellishment there and the tab has some lace and some crinkled book page behind. Super pretty. And that tucks right into that first pocket behind the cover. And inside we have these lace um, pockets. I was very, very inspired by Ruby and Pearl and Pretty Paper Company? Pa I think I'll have to look that up and I'll leave all of the links down below to the folks that inspired me to do these this pretty um, ephemera folio. So inside there's quite a few smaller pieces from the kit. A little extra index card piece and a nice layered embellishment. And this one is a little envelope. Again more images from the kits. And a bunch of tiny little bits inside that were from both kits. The mini ephemera pieces. So I cut a bunch of them apart and have included those in that envelope for the recipient. I'm actually gonna leave these out so that when everything is empty you can see the beautiful image that is behind the pockets. And again, some more of the fun ephemera from the kit. These could be little tags or little embellishments, however you want to use those. And another po um, uh, envelope here with some layered lace and more of the images from the kit. And then I did a stamped label, and a little bit of decoration on the flap, and again, more of the little pieces. So then on this side, we have that really pretty image behind everything of the lady and the roses. And in the spine here again is um, some layered silk bit like the ribbon is a little extra piece I had and some more cheesecloth there. I just love all of the kind of shabby layers and the shabby chic vibe that this has here. And so then we have this piece folds out like this and this was a window envelope. And inside there is this large tag. It's beautiful ribbons cascading down and a little spot there for some journaling and for journaling on the back. So super pretty there and it says sweeter than all the roses. So that will go back into that pocket there, and that is embellished up with all kinds of um, extra little bits from the kits. Some of the this really cool looking envelope piece, and uh, I added some uh, embossed paper there, and some roses, the postcard image, and there's book page inside. All right, so then on this side we have this pocket here on this pretty book page, and some embellishments in there, and this... It's not open, it just looks like it's open, but it's not. There's some lace layered back there, the fun crinkled book pages, and then more of the paper from the kits behind there. And another pretty tag. Again, very much inspired by Ruby and Pearl. Love her work, love how she layers things. And this is a little postcard ephemera piece from the kit. I'll just tuck those back in there. And then this is one of those Tim Holtz uh, slotted die, um, or slotted pocket, something like that, um, die cut. So I have lots of more of the small bits of ephemera. This one is a little fold out like that with some tea spray inside. And then we have this one, another cute little card for some extra journaling there. And that was the pocket where the tag came out of the large tag. All right, and then we go to this side. We have another tuck pocket on the side here, the large image of the mother and daughter there. Another envelope. I think it's an envelope. Yeah, oh, I know what it is. <laughs> It's a tuck spot, so you can go ahead and put that in your journal, and it is like that, so you can glue that on there, and if you glued it, say you glued the back part in a U-shape like that, you would then have the resulting pocket on the side there so that you could tuck a tag or whatever, as well as then having this tuck spot on this side. So I thought that was pretty fun, something you can add to a journal. 
And then on this side, you can see the other half of the fun little frayed bits of the cheesecloth and the piece of silk and a bit of book page there. Just lots of layers to explore. And then this is just clipped on here. A little embellishment journaling card that you can use. All right, and then this folds out as well. And there is a large tag in that pocket there with that mother and daughter again. Super pretty. It says a morning walk. That's cascading ribbons again and some bits of lace and cheesecloth and a little flower. And you can also journal on the back of that. And then this is fun. Stitch these little buttons onto a piece of the ephemera from the kit and poke a little hole so that it looks like a vintage button card. And then this last pocket here is a nice large pocket, and you can see a pretty house that's in the background, and all of the flor uh, florals and roses, and oh, so pretty, and that mother-daughter image again. Super pretty. Again, super inspired by Ruby and Pearl. have one more large pocket in the back with this beautiful large journaling card. I've used one of the images and a bit of book page as the tag with some pretty lace behind there, and then this says, With Shining Eyes. And then, as I said, on the back, there is one more pocket. And inside there is that the lovely lady. And another journaling card from the kit. And one. And this fun image here has the pocket and another little envelope. And I think there's more. <laughs> you guessed it. More of the little bits of ephemera. Super cute. Those would make great little postage stamps or just small layered embellishments, all kinds of fun stuff. All right, so all of the details for Dear Julie Julie's Etsy shop and her YouTube channel, as well as where you can find Ruby and Pearl, will be in the description box down below. Thanks so much for joining me, and I hope you enjoyed this little bit different project. Talk to you later. Take care. Bye-bye.